Hey, this is Dan with Puts Ponds and Gardens. And what I wanted to talk to you today is we field a lot of calls from homeowners that have earthen ponds. What's an earthen pond? An earthen pond is a pond that was dug out, has a clay lining, and it holds water. A lot of these ponds have been mismanaged through the life of their ponds. And since the homeowners have come to want or expect high water quality in their ponds. They're using them either for fishing, they're using them for recreation. These ponds have been mistreated throughout the years. What people are doing is, homeowners don't know. They rely on professionals out there to tell them what they need. And what these professionals are telling them is, how do you get rid of green water? Well, spray this chemical in here and you'll get rid of the green water. Um, we've got this type of weed. How do we get rid of it? Well, you need to add this product to it and it ends up cleaning up the pond and killing the weed. But in my practice, what it is, is it's, it's a knee jerk reaction to something that's happening in a pond. When you do a knee jerk reaction to it, you're killing off a species of plant that's in a pond and it doesn't go anywhere. It ends up decomposing in the bottom of the pond, creating more heavy nutrients in your pond. When it does that, now your pond um, has an excess food lo load inside your pond. What do I mean by an excess food load? It's got a ton of muck. That's what it's got. That muck is food for the next round of plants that want to thrive on that muck. When it does that, you need that company back out to spray again and again and again. So what we do when we're uh, treating a pond or advising a homeowner or a subdivision on how to treat their ponds is we like to use the Aquascape Lake Treatments for ponds. Now that consists of these four items. We've got Lake Phosphate Binder, Lake Bacteria, Lake Sludge Remover, and Lake treatment booster. So one of the first products we use is Lake Bacteria Packs. Now these packs are designed, you'll use four of them in a one acre pond per month. So it'll restore the ecosystem to keep the water clean, clear, and healthy. And that's what we want. So bacteria is a living enzyme. That living enzyme needs that food source. So you get blown in leaves, grass clippings, Sometimes you'll get fertilizers that'll leach down into a pond. Those are all food sources for bacteria, but it's also a, a food source for green water. D nobody wants green water. So what we do is you wanna add those beneficial bacterias and you can put them in on a, on a monthly basis. I like to do them on a weekly basis. So I'll calculate out the size of the pond, divide it by four, and then treat it once a week, every Sunday or every Friday, like our maintenance staff does, is they go out and they'll treat large bodies of water that we maintain and they'll put the bacterias in. So let's go to the next one. So then we use Lake Phosphate Binder. What that does is it quickly binds all the nutrients that are in the water column itself. It'll bind up all the nutrients, say a fish swims by and it stirs up some of the muck that's on the bottom of a pond. Well, now it's in the water column. So what the phosphate binder does is it'll bind it up and drop it down to the bottom where bacteria can start consuming it. Then we'll use a lake sludge remover. So primarily these are used throughout the entire pond and each pack will cover like 250 square feet. So those are done on a weekly basis. So that'll reduce the amount of sludge that's in your pond annually. And that way it reduces the amount of nutrient load that green water will go after. And the last thing that we use is the lake treatment booster packs. What that does, it's like a turbo effect for our lake bacteria itself. And what that product does is it just helps to um, speed up the process of your bacteria itself. By following the recipe that I recommend as a pond professional for over 36, well, 36 years now. So by doing those four things in your pond on a weekly basis, 
you're taking over your pond and it's simple to do we love it when a homeowner actually takes ownership of their own pond no knee-jerk reactions don't spray and kill something in your pond because it doesn't go away all you're doing is you're adding to the thickness of your muck layer in the bottom of your pond you get curly pond weed you're spraying it you're killing it someone knock on your door and ask for it no it's dead in the bottom of your pond now it's turning into muck that's not something we want the one thing we do a little different than other contractors is instead of treating monthly we take and do our math for the ponds let's say a pond would take uh, 16 bacteria packs well what we do is we treat them weekly so we'll divide that number um, let's say it takes 16 so we'll divide that by four we'll only we'll put four bacteria packs in once a week and we put them in different spots every week because just like a backyard ecosystem pond your first dose of bacteria doesn't even start working for four to six weeks remember bacteria multiplies divides and then it dies all in a four to six week cycle so I always want to have that next round readily available to start working in the pond so we treat once a week for our uh, clients ponds I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna show you just how we treat these ponds we put the recommended amount I just put them on top of the lid and I carry the lid around kind of like I'm a waiter and I go around and treat the pond with it we go to each one of these containers Seven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let's see, putting them all here. There's one, two. Now I'm doing sludge remover now. Phosphate binder. So we took over this pond approximately two years ago. We started right off the bat using Aquascapes. Uh, lake treatments for the pond before that other companies would come in here and spray and kill we don't do that we take the natural approach and we use the beneficial bacterias and all those products I mentioned before so that way we can have a healthy ecosystem I like to keep things simple so when we first got to this pond see the sandy bottom right here you can see the geese the tracks that are down in there you could not even see it it was just laden with nothing but sludge but now look at you could see actually a sandy side on that on this whole pond here going all the way around and we it's nothing more than using those four products once a week crystal clear yes there's some floating debris on the top that's because there's no skimmer on this pond so this pond is a retention pond that developer built for this subdivision we were hired to maintain it for the season there's a floating fountain that you'll see over here a little bit later and let me get a little closer to the edge so you can see the sides here this is all going to be nice lawn and then it'll be fertilized anytime it rains that fertilizer is going to want to wash down in here anytime these trees lose their leaves in the fall have a potential to blow into here now there's no skimmer on this pond Leaves, six, eight hours, will sink down to the bottom. Anything that can break down in a pond is food for green water. So we want to maintain a healthy ecosystem pond. We want to have, give them some crystal clear water. Right now, as you can see, we had a um, little bit of runoff into this pond, so the water is cloudy. Now that phosphate binder will help bind up any suspended particles and nutrients in the water and drop them down to the bottom so it will clear it up we've got intakes on this pond that come in from the streets excessive rainwater has high nutrient levels in it we want those bacteria to combat against those nutrients to give us the crystal clear water so that way the um, the green water doesn't take over so we'll revisit this pond in another couple months and you're going to really start seeing clarity on this because the products are in there. <laughs> so
So we're on site with one of the homeowners around this natural body here. But you can see a lot of homes around this. So we're talking with the homeowner, one of the representatives of this subdivision, about adding um, our pond and lake treatments from Aquascape to get away from the knee-jerk reactions that most companies will come out and spray for green water. We've, it's interesting to hear you explain guys with a boat and a spray because that's exactly what's been done um, and you know the results were okay i think it was time to make a change uh, and evaluate another path useful and it's interesting to see a very different approach than spraying with chemicals uh, and we'll look forward to seeing how it works It doesn't get any easier than that. Once you have your recommended dose, weekly treatments, you're good to go. I'm gonna get out of here before those geese chase me out. That's it for now. If you have any comments, leave them below. We'll catch you on the next one. Make it a great day.